Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to continue our brewing series with a quick video on how to make a yeast starter. Uh, so the reason that you want to make a starter is you want to make sure you have the proper amount of yeast cells, healthy yeast cells, uh, to complete your fermentation. Um, rather than buying, you know, 10, 10 bags of uh, yeast here. Uh, so things that you're going to need, a flask. I have a 5 liter flask uh, because I make 10 gallon batches. Uh, you need a stir plate. This is the uh, Maelstrom. I think it's from Adventures in Home Brewing. It's worked great. I've had no issues with that. It's got a large surface area for the, the bigger flasks as well. Um, you need your liquid yeast. This is a uh, Y yeast. I'm going to be using a 1056 American Ale uh, for a standard American Pale Ale that we'll be brewing. Um, and this has the uh, Smack Pack, so you want to take this out at room temp, uh, smack the pack, and then let it, uh, let it get swole here. So this has already been sitting out for about uh, three hours or so. Uh, and then next you're going to need your, your wort mixture. So here I have proper starter wort. Uh, I discovered this probably about two years ago, but previous to that I was doing it in the old-fashioned way, uh, you know, using the dried malt extract. Uh, boiling that, measuring it, it was just a messy process. This is much easier to use as you'll uh, see here. Uh, and then you need a magnetic stir bar. Um, you need to sanitize everything. So I've already sanitized this with star sand and it's fine to leave the bubbles in there. Um, and then you need to figure out how large of a starter that you need. So the way I go about doing that, uh, there's a lot of different website yeast calculators. Um, I use uh, the Brewer's Friend yeast calculator. Uh, so basically, you put in your original gravity. We're going to go with 1.055 for this American Pale Ale. Uh, you put in how many liquid packs you have, typically one. You want to put the manufacturer's date, so that's going to be six months prior to the, um, to the use-by date on the yeast uh, packet. So for example, this says May 21st, 2022, so I'm going to go with November 21st as my manufacture date. And that's going to give you a calculation of the estimated viability of your yeast. So here it says 57%. You hit the update button and that'll tell you your target pitch rate. 462 billion cells is what we need. Uh, so then you head to the next step, uh, part two, hit the grab from above button, and it'll tell you your starting yeast count, 57 billion cells. <clears throat> then on the starter step, basically you just play around with it. Uh, I put in three liters with a gravity of 1.040, which is what the proper starter gets you if you follow the instructions. And then you add uh, your stir plate and update and that gets us to 504 billion cells so you can kind of play play around with the starter size and, and so forth to make sure that you have at least uh, the target pitch rate uh, so we'll do a three liter starter here okay next step here you want to sanitize your cans here so I have a bottle of star sand here Spray those down. And then kind of give these a little bit of a stir. You just want to be as sanitary as possible here. We'll pour all three of these in.
Okay, now that we've got the three cans of um, proper starter um, added here, we're gonna add an additional 16 ounces of water per can. I use reverse osmosis water. Uh, so essentially the way I do it, if we've got three 16 ounce cans, we're gonna need 48 ounces. I convert that to mLs. That's about 1,420 mLs. And so I just add that using a, um, a flask here. Okay, here's one liter. and another 420 mLs. Okay, now that we've got our starter wort prepared, everything sanitized, next step is to uh, add the yeast. So we're gonna wanna sanitize this as well. Spray that down. Same thing with our scissors. Might as well sanitize our stir bar here. We'll give this another little mix. Okay, and then typically I'll try to hold the bag so that can't come out, although it's probably not gonna be able to come out of there. Make sure and get everything out, no problem. And finally, we're gonna drop in our stir bar here. And then you're gonna wanna cover that with foil. just to make sure no bacteria or anything else gets in there. Okay. We'll plug this in. Get this centered. Start her up. This guy has five speed settings. Typically I'll do, put it on a three or so. If it's like a four liter, I might crank it up to four, but you really wanna get a good whirlpool in there so that this aerates really well. I think that's probably good. <clears throat> so, Essentially, well, I've got a uh, temperature strip on here as well. So it'll start around room temp, you know, 68 or so. And as fermentation gets going, that temperature is gonna rise up to, you know, two, three degrees above that maybe. Uh, and then the color will change uh, to a lighter color. As the yeast cells multiply, it'll turn more um, light cream, essentially. As far as, I'll turn this on. Turn that off for a second. 
As far as timing goes, today is Friday. I plan on brewing Monday, uh, so I will let this go for about 48 hours. So through Saturday and through Sunday, Sunday evening, I'll stop this, it'll be done. And that's probably overkill. You could probably do it in a day, but uh, it's not gonna hurt it. Sunday evening, I'll toss this in the uh, keyser and let it cool down so all of the yeast drops out of solution. You really wanna give that a good uh, 24 hours. Uh, sometimes I've tried to cut it shorter than that and the yeast hadn't fully settled out of solution. You don't get that good yeast cake. So I had to delay pitching my yeast. Uh, but anyways, 48 hours on here and about 24 hours in the keyser, so three days before you brew uh, is a pretty safe bet. Um, I think that's everything. Um, we'll go over more, you know, pitching the yeast and everything on a, another brew day video. Uh, so I think that's, a, that's it for this one. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, as always, I'm in the, um, available in the comments section for any uh, questions and uh, happy brewing. Thanks for watching.